The Supreme Court today struck down a ban on bump stocks, a rapid fire gun accessory that was used in one of the deadliest mass shootings in U.S. history. 60 people were killed in the Las Vegas Route 91 Music Festival in 2017 when a lone gunman used bump stocks fired into the crowd of 22,000 people. Tonight, survivors of that shooting are reacting to the Supreme Court's decision. Rachel Menatov live in the KTLA News Center with more on the controversial ruling from the Supreme Court. Rachel. Micah Share, this decision is met with a lot of mixed reaction. Gun rights groups are praising the high court for restraining the executive branch since this was a ruling from the Trump era. But then you have survivors of mass shootings who say this is devastating and dangerous. Stay down. I remember laying on the ground covering my head and I was counting to myself how many bullets we're coming out per second. Brian Claypool is a Pasadena trial attorney and a survivor of the 2017 Las Vegas shooting. The shooter used a bump stock equipped gun to open fire on a country music festival, killing 60 people and injuring hundreds more. On Friday, in a six to three vote along party lines, the Supreme Court struck down a ban on bump stocks put in place by former President Donald Trump in the aftermath of the Vegas massacre. Claypool calls the decision, quote, evil and barbaric. This ruling re-traumatized every victim of gun violence. And it also re-traumatized every parent out there who's trying to take care of their kids and ensure that their kids are safe in our society. Speaking on behalf of the conservative majority, Justice Clarence Thomas said the nearly 100-year-old law banning machine guns should not include bump stocks under federal law. Liberal Justice Sonia Sotomayor reading the dissent aloud in court today said, quote, when I see a bird that walks like a duck, swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, I call that bird a duck, referring to the device's ability to fire with increased speed and power, much like a military grade M16. Vice President Kamala Harris agrees. What the court did today is really rolling back what otherwise is important progress to be made. The high court ultimately sided with this Austin gun shop owner, Michael Cargill, who sued over the ban years ago. The Supreme Court answered that superbly, exactly the way I want them to answer it. Republican lawmakers share a similar sentiment. It's the Second Amendment, and, um, and I stand by it. The Supreme Court is ruled. Let's move on with it. But for survivors like Brian, this declaration is so clearly a setback. And these justices are going to have to live with themselves, and they'll have blood on their hand when the next shooting takes place when a bump stock is used. And even with this federal ban, bump stocks will not be available nationwide. More than a dozen states have already banned them. President Biden is also calling on Congress to ban both bump stocks and assault weapons. I'm Rachel Menatoff in the News Center. Share back to you. Rachel, thank you.